This is a procedure for small volume nebulizer. The common performance elements, steps one through eight, will be, be performed as well as the following. Hello, sir. My name's Jim from the respiratory department. I'm here for your breathing treatment this morning. May I just check your name band, please? Excellent. I checked your chart before coming into the room. We're going to continue with the same breathing treatments that you had yesterday, the same medication and same type of delivery. I'm just going to wash my hands and get your equipment together. I'll be right back. The therapist will gather the equipment and the medication. In this case, the patient's getting albuterol, a 0.5 ml equivalent, and a saline uh, syringe in this case, and we'll bring to the patient the nebulizer and the delivery system. And the nebulizer will often come prepackaged with two big nebulizer mouthpiece and a flex tubing. Flex tubing should be used as a reservoir. Assembly is simple. Uh, the mouthpiece and flex tube are attached to a T, uh, maintaining the uh, mouthpiece in a clean condition. Try not to touch it or drop it. The nebulizer in this case, an acre nebulizer comes in two pieces. It contains a top and a bottom. The bottom holds the nebulizing unit. The top has a spill-proof collar. Check to make sure that the parts are there. And then add your medication to the vial. Double-checking again that you have the correct medication. Open the vial and carefully add it to the nebulizer and add the saline solution, 0.9%. And we'll be using approximately 3 mLs of saline. Attach the tubing, connecting tubing, to the nebulizer and then the other end to the air or oxygen flow meter depending on the standard of the individual hospital. Attach the T to the top of the nebulizer. Okay sir, we have your nebulizer set and ready to go. Just going to turn it on. You need to keep it in your mouth with a nice tight seal so you can get your medication. Can you close your lips on there? No, that's a little bit tough for you. Okay, we have another way that we can do this. Patients that are unable to manage the mouthpiece adapter, you can use a mask and place the mask over the patient's face for direct aerosol delivery to the mouth and nose. Just going to take your glasses off, sir, while we put this mask on, okay? We'll leave them here on the bedside table. And we're going to put a soft mask on. This will fit relatively loose, and you'll get your medicine through that. Excellent. How's that fit? Good. I'm sure the nebulizer is turned up to six to eight liters and that a mist is being delivered to the patient. I'm just going to stay here at your bedside and monitor you during your treatment. Surprised? Yeah. Okay. Do check the patient. Make sure that all's being delivered well. And in some patients that have either trach or stoma, you'll need to deliver the aerosol to that area instead of the mouth and nose. In this case you'll be using a trach collar, same device that you can use for aerosol, um, large volume aerosol.
And what we are doing is using the mouthpiece to occlude the end of the tubing so that the aerosol is going to be directed to the mask. The uh, plastic bag was fitted over the mouthpiece and it was inserted into the end. A piece of tape crisscrossing the end is also another option to be used. In this case it's a fast remedy to uh, prevent delay in therapy. The tray collar fits around the patient's neck with an elastic band and then adjust it into place with a slide. Check make sure that the aerosol is being delivered and that the uh, nebulizer is in an upright position. Uh, most nebulizers operate in a uh, vertical position. Some will operate in a slight uh, tilt, but make sure you can get it in the most upright position possible. Therapy continues until the medication is completely nebulized. And you will note that with what's called the sputtering of the aerosol. Tapping will help move some of the particles that are uh, adhered to the side walls. It'll bring it down. Okay. Okay, sir, it looks like your treatment is just about finished. I'm going to shut your oxygen off and take that trade mask off. Okay, we're all finished, and we'll see you again in about four hours. During the treatment, you may need to uh, monitor the vital signs, measure peak flow in asthmatics before and after, Encourage the patient, if they're cooperative, to cough and note sputum production. Uh, assess the effectiveness of the treatment if the patient's alert, as well as uh, terminate the therapy if there's any adverse reactions, dizziness, vomiting, uh, nausea, anything that is uh, significant, increased in heart rate. Um, you uh, may also want to have the patient rinse their mouth if uh, you aerosolize steroids to the mouth and uh, shake out the nebulizer, rinse it with the sterile water and uh, preferably dry the nebulizer with a purge of gas for a brief few minutes and then return the nebulizer to the treatment bag.